been following my videos you must be uh, knowing that I took my Benelli TNT20 to Kanraj waterfall uh, it was quite a bit of floating and rain so why it was quite dirty and this was the perfect time to test out my new CPT pressure washer it uh, gives out 120 bar of pressure and uh, that's a quite a bit jet stream to uh, wash away all the dirt in the pure bike The top of the bike, I haven't used the stream, so I was I was sure uh, just to spray the water on top and uh, not to uh, get the water inside the battery compartment or the ECU or the place where uh, the fuses and uh, all those relays are placed. Um, I used uh, the jet to wash the swing arm, the wheel, the rim, uh, as you can see, the mud guard. Uh, I even washed the chain with it, uh, but you need to be careful that uh, you have to properly dry the chain and lube it after you uh, wash it. small lungs and uh, longer lungs. Um, they both have the option to adjust uh, the stream of uh, the water jet. You, uh, you can uh, get a very uh, thin, uh, um, a very narrow stream of water jet uh, to wash away hard dirt and, and then you can just rotate the nozzle uh, to spray the water. But be sure not to uh, use that uh, stream directly on your radiator and uh, any of the get parts of your bike or your car if you're washing your car. Okay, so this is the bike after being washed. Uh, you can see it's quite nice and clean, nice and shiny, uh, as compared to uh, when we started. Uh, it's 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 thoroughly and properly cleaned. There are some areas which which need uh, to be cleaned by hand, and we will do it later. We'll uh, we'll use a brush, and we'll we'll be using a cloth and a towel uh, to uh, clean those areas. But you can see the uh, the pressure washer did a, a job, and I think over uh, 15 minutes. I mean, it it would have taken me uh, water and probably half an hour.
you can see uh, the, the best wash now uh, we dry it with the uh, blower then I use the brush to uh, scrub off the dirt on the rims because uh, that didn't just get washed I mean, the most of it uh, did get washed away from the tires in the rim but still I had to uh, brush it away and uh, use some microfiber cloth to dry the bike and clean all the water clean all uh, all those parts which still had some traces of dirt and uh, which needed to be cleaned properly for example the frame sliders the frame itself uh, the engine parts because i told you i did not use uh, the jet directly at the radiator so i, I purposely left uh, the front end of the engine and the radiator a bit dirty because uh, i didn't use this so i i just sprayed it with water so i had to clean it with a brush or a brush bikes bikes getting shiny shiny it's it's getting its look back i'm happy to see the results i'm so happy Uh, the bike in its completeness uh, I have sprayed as I told you I sprayed the water on the top I have cleaned the tank I have dried it and then used the cloth to uh, clean the uh, cluster gauge to uh, clean uh, the handlebar the switch assembly and you can see this is just just plain water and, and a cloth see the, the bike shining the seats clean see the mud guard, the wheels, the muffler cover, the engine, uh, rear suspension, the engine, the lower fairing, the front wheel, yeah. it's, it's, it's a job well done, I'd, I'd say it's a job well done. So certainly I do recommend the CPT pressure washer, uh, it's quite easy, quite handy uh, to use, the results are great. Uh, the pressure is awesome so if, if you're still thinking to get one just do get it